God says, my precious children, I am sending angels to protect you from negative energy that is heading towards your family. Type Amen if you want to bring angels to your house. In the big journey of life, each month is a unique thread woven with moments of joy, challenge, growth, and discovery. As you stand on the threshold of the new month, imagine hearing a divine promise tailored just for you, my dear child, I will bless the month ahead for you. This promise of blessing is not just a mere wish, it is a powerful declaration of good things to come. It signifies a period of abundance where your needs are met, your efforts are rewarded, and your spirit is uplifted. But beyond the material and external manifestations, this blessing is also about the internal, the peace that surpasses understanding, the joy that blooms even in adversity, and the strength that carries you through every challenge. As you navigate the days ahead, imagine each step being guided by an unseen hand, leading you towards opportunities for growth and moments of profound beauty. The month ahead is painted with the brushstrokes of divine favor, each day a canvas waiting to be filled with the vibrant colors of life's blessings. You may encounter challenges, as no path is without its hurdles, but within this promise lies the assurance that you will not face them alone. Strength will be given when yours is waning, and comfort will be provided in moments of distress. The challenges will serve not as obstacles but as stepping stones, leading you to greater heights and deeper understandings. Opportunities for growth and learning will present themselves, each one a gift wrapped in the guise of everyday moments. Like this video if you love mighty Jesus. You'll find lessons in the laughter of friends, wisdom in the stillness of dawn, and joy in the simplest of pleasures. These opportunities are reminders that blessings often come in the most unexpected forms, waiting to be uncovered by a heart open to receiving them. The month ahead is also a time for healing and renewal. Like the earth rejuvenates with the change of seasons, so too will your spirit find renewal. Old wounds will begin to heal, and burdens that have weighed heavily on your shoulders will start to lift. This is the time to let go of what no longer serves you and embrace the new beginnings that await. In your interactions with others, you will find opportunities to be a blessing as well. Kind words spoken at just the right moment, acts of kindness that seem small but carry great significance, and the simple act of being present for someone in need, these are the ways in which the blessings you receive can flow through you to touch the lives of others. If you want to attract huge money effortlessly, starting today, check link in comments below to know the shocking wealth secrets, revealed by rogue NASA scientist. The month ahead is not just about receiving blessings but also about recognizing them. In the hustle and bustle of daily life, it's easy to overlook the miracles that unfold around us. Take time to pause, to look around, and to appreciate the beauty of the world and the kindness of those you encounter. Gratitude will magnify the blessings, making them even more profound. As you look towards the month ahead with anticipation, hold on to this divine promise with faith. Challenges may come, but they cannot overshadow the blessings that have been declared over you. The successes you achieve, the joy you experience, and the growth you undergo will be a testament to the fulfillment of this promise. Remember, the blessing of the month ahead is not just about what you will receive, but also about who you will become in the process. Each day is an opportunity to grow closer to your true self, to deepen your understanding of your purpose, and to live out your values more fully. So, as you step into the new month, do so with a heart full of hope and eyes open to the wonders that await. Embrace each day as a gift, each challenge as an opportunity, and each moment of joy as a glimpse of the divine. The month ahead is not just a segment of time, it is a journey of discovery, 
blessed from the start and promising to be filled with moments that will enrich your life in ways you never imagined. Let this promise of blessing be a source of strength and encouragement as you move forward. The month ahead is yours to explore, filled with potential and brimming with possibilities. With the assurance of divine blessings guiding your way, you can face what lies ahead with confidence, knowing that the best is yet to come. In a world where unpredictability seems to be the only constant, holding on to joy can feel like trying to grasp water. It seems to slip through our fingers no matter how tightly we try to hold on. Yet, amidst this ever-changing landscape, you hear a voice, calm and reassuring, offering a directive that feels both empowering and challenging. My dear child, protect our joy and do not let circumstances determine how we handle our decisions. This wisdom, simple in its wording but profound in its implications, serves as a guiding light, illuminating a path marked by resilience, hope, and an unwavering commitment to joy. Joy, as described in this divine counsel, is not a fleeting emotion tied to the ebbs and flows of life's circumstances. Rather, it is a state of being, a foundational rock upon which you are encouraged to build your life. It is a treasure to be guarded, a precious commodity in a world that often seems designed to erode it. This joy is not ignorant of pain, suffering, or hardship, but exists in spite of them, offering a wellspring of strength and peace in the midst of storms. To protect this joy, then, is an act of defiance against the forces that seek to steal it. It is a declaration that, although we may not have control over what happens to us, we have a say in how we respond. Our decisions, rooted in this protected joy, become beacons of light in darkness, paths of peace in turmoil, and embodiments of hope in despair. Living out this divine instruction requires a shift in perspective. It demands that we look beyond the immediate, often overwhelming, circumstances and focus on the bigger picture. This doesn't mean ignoring reality or pretending that challenges don't exist. Instead, it's about choosing to see beyond the problem to the potential for growth, healing, and eventual triumph. It's about deciding that our joy is too important to be left at the mercy of external events. Protecting our joy means cultivating it from within, nurturing it through practices that feed our soul and spirit. Type 1313 to claim it. It involves gratitude, the simple yet powerful act of recognizing and appreciating the good in our lives, even when it seems overshadowed by the bad. It involves mindfulness, the practice of being present in the moment, not allowing worries about the future or regrets about the past to consume us. And it involves connection, reaching out to others for support and offering the same, recognizing that joy shared is joy multiplied. Moreover, protecting our joy influences how we handle decisions. When joy is our foundation, our choices become infused with hope, optimism, and a positive vision for the future. Decisions are no longer reactive, made in desperation or fear, but proactive, grounded in a deep-seated belief in our own resilience and the promise of better days ahead. This doesn't imply that every decision will be easy or that the outcomes will always be favorable. However, it does mean that our decisions will be made from a place of strength, not weakness, from a position of faith, not fear. In practical terms, protecting our joy and allowing it to guide our decisions means pausing before reacting, giving ourselves the space to respond thoughtfully rather than impulsively. It means asking ourselves whether a particular choice will bring us closer to or further away from the peace and happiness we seek. It means being honest about our limits, setting boundaries to preserve our well-being, and prioritizing activities and relationships that replenish rather than drain our joy. It also means being adaptable, 
willing to let go of plans that no longer serve our highest good and open to new possibilities that we might not have considered before. Flexibility becomes a key tool in our arsenal, allowing us to navigate life's unpredictability without losing our footing. As you endeavor to protect your joy and make decisions that honor this commitment, remember that you are not alone. The divine assurance that accompanies this instruction is a reminder of the constant presence and support available to you. You are equipped with an inner strength, a well of joy that can be replenished through connection to the divine, to the world around you, and to the deepest parts of yourself. In the end, protecting our joy and refusing to let circumstances dictate our decisions is about reclaiming our power. It's about recognizing that, while we may not be able to control what happens to us, we have the ultimate authority over how we choose to respond. This journey is not about denying the realities of life, but about affirming that our joy, our peace, and our hope are worth fighting for. So, as you move forward, carry this divine counsel close to your heart, Protect our joy and do not let circumstances determine how we handle our decisions. Let it be a mantra that guides you through the highs and lows, a constant reminder of the unshakable joy that resides within you. With each decision made from this place of protected joy, you affirm your strength, your resilience, and your capacity to thrive, no matter what life throws your way. When the divine whispers into the fabric of your daily life, urging you toward a path you've never walked before, it's as if the universe itself is setting before you an invitation to step into the unknown. My dear child, when God is calling you to do something you've never done before, you have to be strong and courageous. These words, though simple, carry the weight of a profound truth, a call to action that requires not just acknowledgement but a deep, unwavering commitment to trust, faith, and bravery. Embarking on a journey that is unfamiliar can be daunting. The comfort of the known, with its predictable outcomes and familiar challenges, often feels safer than the uncertainty of new endeavors. Yet. It is in the very act of stepping beyond the confines of our comfort zones that we discover not only who we are, but who we are capable of becoming. The call to do something you've never done before is not a test of your capability, but an affirmation of your potential. Being strong in this context is not merely about physical prowess or the absence of fear. Rather, it's about inner strength, the kind that allows you to stand firm even when you're not sure of the next step. It's about the strength to believe in the worthiness of your call even when others doubt it. The strength to persevere even when the path is steep and the outcome uncertain. Courage, too, is essential. It's the courage to take the first step without seeing the entire staircase, the courage to voice your dreams even when they seem impossible, and the courage to keep moving forward even when you feel like giving up. Courage doesn't mean you're not afraid, it means you don't let fear stop you. The journey ahead will undoubtedly be filled with challenges. There will be moments of doubt, times when the obstacles seem insurmountable, and periods when the temptation to retreat back to the familiar is almost overwhelming. Type 444 and share this video to five family members. These are the moments when the call to be strong and courageous will echo loudest, reminding you that the divine presence that called you to this path is also the force that will sustain you through it. You'll need to lean on faith more than ever before. Faith that there is a plan for your life greater than anything you could devise on your own. Faith that every step you take, even the missteps, are part of a larger journey towards fulfillment and purpose. Faith that the same voice that called you to this new venture will guide you through it. Openness to learning is also crucial. Approaching this journey with the mindset of a learner will transform obstacles into opportunities for growth. 
you will discover strengths you never knew you had, learn lessons that can only be taught through experience, and develop a resilience forged in the fire of perseverance. Remember, you are not alone. Along this path, you will find others who have been called to their own journeys of courage and strength. Draw strength from their stories, learn from their experiences, and take comfort in the knowledge that others, too, have faced the unknown and emerged transformed. In moments of uncertainty, seek guidance and wisdom. Whether through prayer, meditation, or reflection, allow yourself to be guided by the divine wisdom that called you to this path. Be attentive to the signs along the way, the unexpected sources of support, and the quiet nudgings that steer you in the right direction. Gratitude will be your anchor. In every challenge, find something to be grateful for. This practice of gratitude will not only keep your spirits lifted but will also attract more positivity into your life. Even the smallest victories along the way are milestones worth celebrating. As you journey forward, remember to give back. The lessons you learn, the strength you gain, and the courage you muster are not just for your benefit. Share your story, offer your hand to those who are also called to journey into the unknown, and be a beacon of hope and encouragement to others. This divine call to do something you've never done before is a gift, an opportunity to live a life marked by growth, purpose, and deep fulfillment. It is a chance to prove to yourself that with faith, strength, and courage, there is nothing you cannot achieve. So, as you stand at the threshold of this new adventure, take a deep breath, lift your head high, and step forward with confidence. The path may not be easy, but the rewards of answering this call, a life lived fully, a purpose fulfilled, and a legacy of bravery will be worth every challenge. Let the words, be strong and courageous, be the mantra that guides you through the days ahead. With each step, remind yourself of the strength that lies within you, the courage that propels you forward, and the divine guidance that assures you are never alone. Embrace this journey with your whole heart, for it is in the act of doing something you've never done before that you will discover all you were meant to be. This is not just a call to action but a call to become, to become stronger, braver, and more aligned with your true purpose than you ever thought possible. This journey is as much about becoming as it is about achieving, revealing layers of yourself that remained undiscovered until now. Along the way, remember to pause and reflect on how far you've come. Each step forward, no matter how small, is progress. Celebrate the milestones, both big and small, recognizing that every effort, every challenge faced, and every obstacle overcome is shaping you into the person you are meant to be. As you move forward, keep your eyes open for the moments of beauty and grace that accompany the journey. These moments may come in the simplest of forms, a word of encouragement at just the right time, a sunset that reminds you of the world's wonders, or the feeling of peace in a moment of quiet reflection. These are the signposts that remind you of the divine presence accompanying you every step of the way. Embrace the community around you, for no journey is meant to be walked alone. Share your dreams and your fears, your successes and your failures. The strength and courage you need can often be found in the support and love of those who walk alongside you, whether physically or in spirit. As challenges arise, and they will, remember that they are not roadblocks but opportunities to grow and learn. Approach each challenge with the mindset that it has something valuable to teach you. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this, rather than, why is this happening to me? This shift in perspective can transform challenges into stepping stones towards your greater purpose. Stay flexible and open to change. The path God is calling you to may not be a straight line. It may twist and turn, leading you through terrains you never expected to traverse. 
This is all part of the journey. Being strong and courageous means being adaptable, willing to adjust your course as you are guided, trusting that each turn brings you closer to your ultimate destination. Remember, too, that being strong and courageous doesn't mean you won't experience moments of doubt or fear. These emotions are part of the human experience. The key is not to let them paralyze you. Acknowledge them, learn from them, and then move forward, armed with the knowledge that your strength and courage come from a source greater than yourself. Finally, hold on to the promise that God is with you in this journey. The call to do something you've never done before is not a solitary venture. The divine promise of strength and courage is not just a starting point, but a continual source of power and reassurance as you move forward. In closing, let the words, My dear child, when God is calling you to do something you've never done before, you have to be strong and courageous echo in your heart. Let them be a beacon that guides you through the unknown, a reminder of the divine presence that walks with you, and a call to embrace the fullness of your potential. This journey is your opportunity to step into the vast expanse of your destiny, to live boldly in the pursuit of your calling, and to become the embodiment of strength and courage in a world that needs your unique gifts more than ever. So step forward with confidence, knowing that you are called, you are capable, and you are never alone. The journey ahead is not just a path to new destinations, but a journey of transformation into the very person you were created to be. As you stand on the brink of a new dawn, let these words resound deeply within your soul, my dear child, your life is about to change forever, astounding your adversaries. Imagine these words, spoken with infinite love and wisdom, guiding you towards a future filled with promise and unexpected victories. This message, a divine whisper, is about to unfold its significance in your life, leading you through a journey of transformation that will leave you and those around you in awe. Your life, up to this moment, has been a series of lessons, each one preparing you for what's about to come. Like a diamond formed under pressure, your character has been shaped and refined through challenges and hardships. But the time has come for the veil of struggle to lift, revealing the brilliance that has been forged within you. This change won't happen overnight, nor will it be a result of mere chance. It's a divine orchestration, a meticulously planned transformation that will see you rising from the ashes of your former self. Type 777 to affirm. You will emerge stronger, wiser, and more radiant, catching even your adversaries off guard. Your adversaries, those who doubted you, who wished for your downfall, will stand in disbelief as they witness your rise. They've seen you at your lowest, but never anticipated seeing you soar. Your success will not be a quiet whisper, but a loud proclamation of what faith, resilience, and divine favor can accomplish. The journey ahead will require courage and faith. There will be moments when you'll doubt the possibility of change, times when the obstacles seem insurmountable. But remember, the same voice that promised your life would change forever is also the voice that has guided stars into their place. It's a voice that speaks with authority and love, a voice that silences storms and calls forth destinies. As you step into this new chapter of your life, you'll find doors opening where there were once walls. Opportunities will arise from the most unexpected places, and help will come from unforeseen allies. The pieces of your life's puzzle will begin to fit together, creating a picture more beautiful than you could have ever imagined. Your story of transformation will inspire others. People will look at you and see a living testimony of hope and change. Your life will be a beacon, illuminating the path for those who are still walking through their night of struggle. Your adversaries, now astounded, may even become your admirers as they witness the tangible evidence of a life uplifted. 
This promise of change is not just about material success or external achievements. It's about an internal revolution, a metamorphosis of the heart and spirit. You will discover strengths you never knew you had, and you'll find peace in places where there was once turmoil. Your character, refined through trials, will shine brightly, reflecting the beauty of your transformation. As you navigate through this period of change, stay grounded in your faith and values. Let gratitude be your constant companion, and let kindness guide your actions. The change promised to you is not only for your benefit but also to serve as a blessing to others. Your journey is about more than just personal victory, it's about becoming a vessel of hope and light in a world that desperately needs it. In moments of doubt or fear, remember the words spoken to you, my dear child, your life is about to change forever, astounding your adversaries. Let this promise be the anchor for your soul, a reminder that you are not alone and that a divine plan is unfolding in your life. As you stand today, on the threshold of tomorrow, look forward with anticipation. Your story is about to take a remarkable turn, one that will leave a lasting imprint not just on your life but on the lives of those around you. Embrace this promise, step into your destiny, and watch as your life unfolds in ways that astonish even your greatest adversaries. Imagine standing at the edge of a vast horizon where the dawn of a new day brings light to paths previously shrouded in darkness. This is where you find yourself now, as you hear the comforting and powerful words, My dear child, you're on the brink of tremendous success and fresh opportunities. These words, like a gentle yet profound whisper from the divine, promise a future filled with hope, growth, and boundless possibilities. Your journey so far may have felt like an endless struggle, navigating through uncertainties and overcoming challenges that seemed insurmountable. But every step taken, every obstacle faced, was preparing you for this very moment, a moment of transformation and breakthrough. The promise of success and new opportunities is not just a fleeting wish, it is a divine assurance. Type 1616 if you needed this. It signals the beginning of a season where your efforts bear fruit, where your dreams start to materialize before your eyes. This success is not merely about wealth or recognition but encompasses personal growth, fulfillment, and the realization of your potential. Fresh opportunities will emerge from the most unexpected places, urging you to step out of your comfort zone and embark on new ventures. These opportunities are invitations to explore, to learn, and to grow. They will require courage and a willingness to venture into the unknown, but they are also pathways to experiences and achievements that will enrich your life in unimaginable ways. As these opportunities unfold, you may encounter new challenges. However, these challenges are not roadblocks but stepping stones designed to elevate you higher. With each challenge overcome, you will gain strength, wisdom, and a deeper confidence in your abilities. Remember, the success promised to you is not devoid of effort. It is through facing these challenges head-on that you will truly realize your capacity for greatness. The success and opportunities ahead are not only for your benefit but also serve a greater purpose. You are being equipped to make a difference, to be a light in the darkness for others who may still be finding their way. Your journey of success will inspire those around you, showing them that it is possible to rise above adversity and achieve one's dreams. In this new season, it's important to remain grounded and maintain a spirit of gratitude. Success can easily be overshadowed by pride or complacency, but remember, the opportunities you are about to receive are gifts to be cherished and shared. Approach each day with humility, recognizing that the success you achieve is not solely the result of your own efforts, but also the support of those who have believed in you and the guidance of the divine. 
As you step into this promising future, keep your heart open to the lessons it will bring. Success is not just about reaching a destination, but about the journey itself, the growth that occurs within you as you pursue your dreams. Embrace the journey with an open heart and mind, ready to learn, adapt, and evolve. The path to success and the embrace of new opportunities will also involve making difficult choices. These decisions may require you to leave behind what's comfortable or familiar, but trust in the divine assurance that what lies ahead is far greater than anything you leave behind. Have faith that you are being led to where you are meant to be, to a place where your talents and gifts can flourish like never before. Your relationship with others will play a crucial role in this new chapter of your life. Surround yourself with people who uplift you, who share your vision and support your dreams. As you ascend to new heights, remember to lift others with you, sharing the blessings and lessons you've received along the way. In moments of doubt or uncertainty, revisit the divine promise that has been spoken over your life, my dear child. You're on the brink of tremendous success and fresh opportunities. Let these words be a source of strength and encouragement, a reminder that you are not alone on this journey. The same force that holds the universe in place is guiding you, believing in you, and cheering you on every step of the way. So, as you stand on the brink of this new and exciting phase of your life, look ahead with hope, excitement, and a readiness to embrace all that is coming your way. Your life is about to change in remarkable ways, filled with success and opportunities that will lead you to fulfill your destiny. Type 222 if you love God. Step forward with confidence, knowing that you are equipped, supported, and loved. Your future is bright, and the best is yet to come. As you move forward, embracing the promise of success and the abundance of opportunities that lie before you, remember that this journey is as much about your inner growth as it is about external achievements. The true measure of success is not only found in the accolades you receive or the milestones you reach, but also in the person you become in the process. Your character will be refined like gold through fire, integrity, compassion, and resilience will become your most treasured assets. These qualities will guide your decisions, shape your interactions with others, and ultimately determine the legacy you leave behind. Success, therefore, is not just about reaching the peak, but about the trails you blaze for others to follow, the hands you hold to lift others up, and the light you shine to illuminate the path for those who come after you. In this journey, balance is key. As you pursue your dreams and step into new opportunities, remember to cherish the moments and the people that make life truly rich. Success without fulfillment is empty, so make time for the things that bring you joy and keep you connected to your purpose and to those you love. Your achievements will be all the more meaningful when shared with the people who have supported you, laughed with you, and stood by you through thick and thin. As you encounter success, remain humble. Every achievement is an opportunity to give thanks and to reflect on the journey that brought you here. Humility will keep you grounded and open to continuous learning and growth. It will remind you that every person you meet has something to teach you, and every experience, whether a triumph or a setback, is a valuable lesson in disguise. Embrace the fresh opportunities with an entrepreneurial spirit. Be bold, be curious, and be innovative. The world is changing rapidly, and the ability to adapt and think creatively will set you apart. These opportunities are not just chances for personal advancement but also platforms to make a positive impact on the world around you. Use your success as a tool for good, to advocate for change, to support causes you believe in, and to empower others to pursue their dreams. In your pursuit of success, never lose sight of your values and your faith. 
They are the compass that will guide you through the highs and lows, the certainty in times of uncertainty. Your faith will give you the strength to persevere when the journey gets tough and the wisdom to make decisions that align with your deepest convictions. Remember, the promise of success and opportunities is not a destination but a journey. A journey of becoming who you were meant to be and fulfilling your unique purpose in the world. Along the way, there will be moments of joy and celebration, as well as challenges and learning curves. Each experience is a step on the path to becoming a more resilient, wise, and compassionate version of yourself. So, as you stand on the brink of this exciting new chapter, filled with success and opportunities, take a moment to reflect on the journey ahead. Imagine the possibilities, the lives you will touch, and the difference you will make. Step forward with courage, with hope, and with a heart ready to embrace all that lies ahead. Your life is about to change in ways you never imagined. It's a journey that will take you beyond your dreams, beyond your expectations, and into a future brimming with potential. With each step, remember that you are guided, loved, and supported by forces greater than you can see. The path ahead is bright, and your story is just beginning. Welcome to your new chapter, where every day is a new opportunity to shine, to grow, and to create the life you've always dreamed of. In the quiet moments of reflection, when the world seems to slow down just enough for you to catch your breath, there lies an invitation to connect with something greater than yourself. It is in these moments that you hear the gentle, yet profound call, My dear child, pray this prayer with me for God's blessings. This call to prayer is not just a request for divine favor but a journey into deeper communion with the source of all love, peace, and abundance. Begin your prayer with a heart open to receive and words steeped in gratitude, Heavenly Father. I come before you today with a heart full of thanks. Thank you for the gift of life, for the breath in my lungs, and for the beauty that surrounds me each day. Your love and grace are my constant companions, guiding me through every moment of my journey. Acknowledge your need for divine guidance and wisdom, Lord. I recognize that I cannot navigate the complexities of this world alone. I seek your wisdom to illuminate my path and your strength to sustain me. Help me to make choices that reflect your love and to walk in ways that bring honor to your name. Confess your shortcomings and ask for forgiveness. Forgive me, Father, for the times I have fallen short of your glory. For the moments when I have chosen my ways over yours, and for the times my words and actions have not been a reflection of your love. Cleanse my heart and renew my spirit, that I may stand before you, washed in your grace. Pray for provision and protection, I pray for your provision to meet my needs and the needs of those I love. Open doors of opportunity, provide for our daily sustenance, and bless the work of our hands. I also ask for your protection over my life, my family, and all who are dear to me. Shield us from harm and guide us safely through each day. Seek blessings of peace and joy, Lord, fill my heart with your peace that surpasses all understanding. Type God is with me. In a world filled with turmoil and uncertainty, let your peace reign in my heart and mind. I also ask for the joy of your presence to fill my life. In moments of happiness and in times of sorrow, be my source of unending joy. Ask for healing and restoration, I pray for healing for those who are sick, comfort for those who are grieving, and restoration for broken relationships. Your power knows no bounds, and I trust in your ability to mend what is broken and to bring wholeness to our lives. Pray for wisdom and discernment, grant me the wisdom to discern your will for my life and the courage to follow it. Help me to recognize your voice above all others and to make decisions that are aligned with your purposes. Request guidance for the future. As I look to the future, I ask for your guiding hand to lead me. 
Show me the path you have for me, and equip me with everything I need to fulfill your plans. Let your promises be the light that guides my way. Pray for love and compassion to be the foundation of your life. Teach me to love as. You love to offer grace as freely as you have given it to me and to extend compassion to those in need. Let my life be a testament to your love, reaching out to touch the lives of others in meaningful ways. Conclude your prayer with faith and trust in God's timing. I place my trust in you, knowing that your timing is perfect and your plans for me are good. I rest in the assurance that you hear my prayer and are at work in my life, even in ways I cannot see. Thank you for your faithfulness and for the countless blessings you pour out upon me. End your prayer with praise and worship. I give you all the glory, honor, and praise, for you alone are worthy. Your goodness and mercy follow me all the days of my life, and I am forever grateful for your love and blessings. In your holy name, I pray, Amen. This prayer, a heartfelt conversation with the Divine, is more than just words spoken into the silence. It is an act of faith, a declaration of trust in the goodness of God, and an acknowledgement of your reliance on His grace and provision. As you pray this prayer, let it be a reminder of the closeness of God, His attentiveness to your needs, and His boundless love for you. Remember, prayer is not just about asking for blessings, it is about deepening your relationship with the Creator, understanding His heart, and aligning your life with His purposes. Through prayer, you invite God's presence into your life, opening the door for His blessings to flow in ways that transform you from the inside out. In the quiet moments of self-reflection, you may find yourself wrestling with thoughts of doubt and inadequacy. These whispers of not good enough, not qualified enough, or not equipped enough can feel like uninvited guests in your mind, casting long shadows over your confidence and dreams. It's in these moments of vulnerability that you might hear a reassuring voice, gentle yet firm, speaking directly to your heart. My dear child, he'll put thoughts in your head that you're not good enough, not qualified enough, not equipped enough to handle the call. This voice, filled with divine wisdom and love, acknowledges the reality of your struggles but also offers a profound truth. These thoughts are not the end of your story but a part of your journey towards embracing your full potential. The journey you are on, marked by calls to action that seem beyond your reach, is not about possessing immediate strength or flawless qualifications. It's about growing into the person capable of meeting these challenges head-on, supported by a strength that transcends your own. Type Amen if you agree. The thoughts that seek to diminish your worth and question your capability are not reflections of your true identity. Instead, they are obstacles designed to be overcome, part of a process that molds you into a stronger, more resilient individual. Recognizing this is the first step towards reclaiming your mind from the grip of doubt. When you encounter these thoughts, remember they are based on fear, not reality. Fear of failure, fear of the unknown, and fear of being judged are common experiences, but they do not define your capacity for success. Your worth and your ability to answer the call are not measured by a lack of fear but by the courage to continue despite it. The truth is, every great journey begins with a feeling of unpreparedness. The heroes of history, the champions of faith, and the pioneers of innovation all faced moments when they felt inadequate to the tasks before them. What set them apart was not an absence of doubt but a decision to move forward, fueled by a belief in something greater than themselves. You are being shaped and prepared for your unique mission in ways you might not fully understand yet. The skills you need, the insights you seek, and the strength you crave are being forged in the everyday experiences of your life, often in moments that seem mundane or insignificant. Every challenge you overcome, every lesson you learn, 
and every bit of wisdom you gain contributes to your readiness to answer the call. It's essential to surround yourself with voices of encouragement and truth. Seek out mentors, friends, and communities that remind you of your worth, your potential, and the divine support that underpins your journey. Let their faith in you bolster your own, especially in moments when self-doubt seems overwhelming. Engage in practices that strengthen your spiritual foundation and mental resilience. Prayer, meditation, and reflection can be powerful tools in quieting the voices of doubt and tuning into the affirming message of your worth and capability. These practices not only provide peace but also clarity, helping you to discern the next steps on your path. Embrace the learning process with humility and openness. Every mistake, every setback, and every challenge is an opportunity to grow. Instead of seeing them as confirmations of your inadequacy, view them as stepping stones towards becoming the person you need to be to fulfill your calling. Remember, the measure of your qualification is not found in the absence of weakness but in your willingness to be used, flaws and all. The divine call is not just about achieving a goal, it's about the transformation that occurs within you as you journey towards that goal. It's in your moments of weakness that the strength of a power greater than your own can shine brightest. Document your journey, the highs and the lows. Keeping a record of your experiences, your feelings, and your reflections can serve as a powerful reminder of how far you've come. It can also be a source of encouragement to others who might be facing their own battles with doubt and feelings of inadequacy. Finally, remember that the voice calling you to greatness is the same voice that promises to be with you every step of the way. The assurance that you are not alone, that you are supported and loved unconditionally, is the antidote to every thought of not being good enough. In summary, the thoughts that seek to undermine your confidence and deter you from your path are not indicators of your inability but invitations. To grow stronger, lean deeper into faith, and embrace the journey of becoming who you are meant to be. You are good enough, qualified enough, and equipped enough because you are not on this journey alone. The same power that calls you forward is the power that will sustain you, guide you, and ultimately lead you to victory. So, dear child, when you hear the whispers of doubt, respond with the truth of your divine backing. Stand firm in the knowledge that you are called, you are loved, and you are empowered to handle whatever comes your way. The journey ahead is not just about reaching a destination, it's about the transformation that occurs within you as you walk this path. It's about learning to see yourself through the lens of divine potential rather than through the shadow of doubt. Each step you take, no matter how uncertain, is a step towards embracing the fullness of who you are and who you are becoming. As you continue on your journey, let each challenge serve as a reminder of your resilience. Let every moment of self-doubt be countered with a moment of self-affirmation. Speak words of encouragement and truth to yourself, affirming your capabilities, your strengths, and your divine purpose. These affirmations are not just words, they are seeds of belief that grow into the reality of your life. Engaging with others who share your path or have walked it before can also provide invaluable perspective and encouragement. Their stories of overcoming similar fears and doubts can offer comfort, inspiration, and practical advice. Community, whether found in physical gatherings or online spaces, can reinforce the truth that you are not alone in your feelings of inadequacy or in your journey towards fulfilling your call. Type 1818 to participate in God's journey. Educate yourself continuously. Knowledge is a powerful tool in combating feelings of inadequacy. By learning new skills, deepening your understanding of your call, and educating yourself on the challenges you might face, you equip yourself with the tools necessary to succeed. 
This pursuit of knowledge is a proactive step in affirming your capability and preparing yourself for the tasks ahead. Practice resilience. The journey is seldom easy and setbacks are inevitable. However, resilience, the ability to recover from difficulties, adapt to change, and keep moving forward, is a critical skill in navigating the path set before you. Cultivate resilience by setting small, achievable goals, celebrating your progress, and viewing setbacks as opportunities to learn and grow. Remember to take care of yourself physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Your well-being is crucial to your ability to answer your call. Find practices that nourish your body, mind, and soul, and make them a regular part of your routine. This holistic approach to self-care ensures that you are at your best, fully equipped to take on the challenges and opportunities that come your way. Finally, trust in the timing of your journey. Divine calls do not operate on human timelines. There may be periods of waiting, of preparation, or of seemingly no progress at all. These times are not wasted but are an integral part of the process. Trust that you are being prepared, that the work being done in you and through you is leading you to the right moment for your call to unfold in its fullness. In closing, remember that the thoughts of not being good enough, not qualified enough, or not equipped enough are part of a narrative that you have the power to rewrite. With each act of courage, each step of faith, and each decision to move forward despite fear, you are crafting a story of strength, perseverance, and divine purpose. So, dear child, when faced with the doubts and fears that seek to hold you back, choose to stand strong in the knowledge of who you are and whose you are. You are equipped, you are called, and you are destined for greatness. The path may be uncertain, and the journey may be challenging, but the transformation within you and the fulfillment of your divine purpose will be worth every step. As you journey through the twists and turns of life, encountering valleys as deep as they are dark and mountains as daunting as they are steep, a gentle yet unwavering voice pierces through the tumult of daily struggles and whispers a timeless truth. Even if you feel fear, don't let the fear paralyze you. This simple sentence, profound in its depth and powerful in its promise, serves as a beacon of hope and a testament to the strength that resides within you, waiting to be unleashed. Fear is a universal experience, a common thread that weaves through the fabric of humanity, touching every heart and every life. It knows no boundaries, respects no status, and spares no one. From the fear of the unknown to the fear of failure, from the fear of rejection to the fear of loss, it manifests in countless ways, seeking to undermine our confidence, erode our faith, and stall our progress. Yet, in the midst of these swirling fears, the divine assurance comes to you, clear and reassuring. Fear itself cannot harm you unless you allow it to take root and grow. It's not the presence of fear that defines you, but how you respond to it. You are called not to a life free from fear, but to a life where fear does not have the final say. Embrace this truth as the first step in your journey to overcome paralysis by fear. Acknowledge your fears, not as indicators of weakness, but as opportunities for growth. By naming them, you strip them of their power to control you from the shadows. This act of bravery, simple yet significant, is the foundation upon which you will build your resistance against the paralyzing effects of fear. Next, understand that courage is not the absence of fear but the determination to move forward in spite of it. Courage is the choice to take one more step, even when your legs tremble and your heart races. It is the decision to act, driven by the conviction that the purpose set before you is greater than any obstacle you might face, including the obstacle of fear itself. To prevent fear from paralyzing you, cultivate a mindset of resilience. 
Resilience is the ability to bounce back from setbacks, to adapt to change, and to keep moving forward, even when the path is obscured by clouds of doubt and fear. This resilience is nurtured through experiences, through the trials you face and overcome, through the challenges that teach you about your own strength and the reliability of the divine promise to guide and support you. Lean on your faith, your belief in something greater than yourself, as an anchor in times of fear. Faith provides a perspective that transcends the immediate, often intimidating, circumstances, offering a glimpse of the bigger picture and a reason to hope. It reminds you that you are not alone, that there is a presence with you in every dark valley and on every high mountain, a presence that has never failed you and will not start now. Seek support from those around you, from the community of friends, family, and fellow travelers on this journey of life. Share your fears with them, not as a burden, but as an invitation for them to walk with you, to offer their strength when yours falters, and to remind you of the truth when fear tries to distort your vision. Take practical steps to face your fears. Start with small actions, steps that challenge the boundaries fear has tried to impose on you. Each action, no matter how small, is a victory, a reclaiming of territory lost to fear. As you accumulate these victories, your confidence will grow, and the paralysis once caused by fear will begin to recede. Educate yourself about the things you fear. Often, fear thrives on ignorance, on the unknown. By seeking knowledge, by understanding what you're afraid of, you demystify it, reducing its capacity to cause fear. This knowledge becomes a tool, a weapon against the shadows cast by fear. Remember, too, that it's okay to feel fear. It's a natural response to the unknown and to threats, real or perceived. The goal is not to eradicate fear from your life, but to ensure it doesn't control your life. Let fear be a signal, not a stop sign. Let it prompt you to prepare, to plan, and to pray, but not to pause indefinitely. Hold on to hope. Hope is the light that fear cannot extinguish, the spark that ignites courage and fuels your journey forward. Subscribe our channel for daily God blessings. It's the belief in a better tomorrow, in the possibility of success, and in the fulfillment of your purpose. With hope as your compass, fear will lose its power to paralyze you. As you navigate the complexities of life, facing fears both big and small, remember the divine encouragement that has been whispered to your heart. Even if you feel fear, don't let the fear paralyze you. This is not just a call to bravery but a promise of victory. You have within you the strength to overcome, the courage to move forward, and the support of a presence far greater than any challenge you might face. The journey ahead may be marked by moments of fear, but it is also paved with opportunities for growth, discovery, and profound joy. Let each day be a step toward mastering your response to fear. Practice gratitude for every moment that teaches you more about your own strength and the depth of the courage that resides within you. Celebrate the small victories over fear, for in these victories, the foundation of a fearless life is built. Cultivate patience with yourself as you learn and grow. Overcoming fear is not an overnight process, but a journey filled with lessons that will serve you well beyond the present moment. Each experience of facing fear and moving forward anyway is a stone laid on the path to a life characterized by boldness and peace. Remember to give yourself grace. There will be moments when fear seems to gain the upper hand, moments when taking the next step feels impossible. In these times, remind yourself that it's not about never feeling fear, but about not allowing fear to have the final say. Allow yourself to feel the fear, then take a deep breath, gather your strength, and take one more step. Stay connected to your source of strength and courage. Whether through prayer, meditation, or reflection, 
Maintain a close relationship with the divine assurance that promises you are never alone. This connection is your constant source of renewal and strength, equipping you to face whatever fears may come. Expand your horizons by learning from others who have faced their fears and emerged stronger. Listen to their stories, draw inspiration from their journeys, and apply their lessons to your own life. There is power in shared experiences and comfort in knowing others have walked the path you're on and have overcome. Set your sights on the future with hope and expectation. While fear focuses on potential negative outcomes, hope looks forward to the possibilities of what can be achieved. Align your vision with this hope, letting it guide your steps and inspire your actions. As you move forward, let your life be a testament to the truth that fear does not have the power to paralyze you. Through your actions, show others that it's possible to feel fear and still choose to move forward. Be a beacon of courage and hope, illuminating the path for those who come after you. In every challenge, look for the opportunity to grow stronger, to deepen your faith, and to live more fully in the truth that you are capable, you are courageous, and you are called to a life of purpose and impact. Let the promise that you will not be paralyzed by fear be the cornerstone of your journey, a journey not defined by what you fear, but by how you rise above it. In closing, remember the divine whisper that started you on this path, even if you feel fear, don't let the fear paralyze you. Carry these words with you as a shield against doubt and a reminder of your inherent strength. With each step taken in defiance of fear, you are not just moving closer to your goals. You are also becoming a living example of courage and resilience, a beacon of hope in a world that needs your light. So, dear child, step boldly into each new day, armed with the knowledge that fear may be a part of your journey, but it will not determine its course. You are equipped, you are supported, and you are loved, more than enough reasons to move forward with confidence, regardless of the fears that may arise. The path ahead is bright with promise, waiting for you to take the next step. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you're notified whenever we post a new video. Until next time, take care, and we'll see you in the next one.